Yo, what's up, what's up? This is your man, Orville J. Parker, a.k.a. Coach. Welcome to this episode of Trade Talk Podcast. Um, this is a podcast where I trade game around launching and managing multiple streams of income um, from the comfort of your home. Um, this podcast, this video is sponsored by my startup called Trade Hippo, which is an e-commerce store that specializes in buying and selling gently used and vintage apparel. You know, we deal with brands such as Nike, Polo Ralph Lauren, the North Face, L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer, uh, Reebok, Adidas, Levi's. Um, we get off into vintage brands such as Rockerware, Woolwer, Fubu, um, a lot of cool brands, guys. Um, we are we operate in what they call um, circular fashion. We're in the recycling business. So basically, what our company does is our company goes out. We have several sources that we deal with. And we go out and we rescue a pearl, right? We rescue a pearl before it ends up in what we call the last mile. Um, we're talking about landfills. We're talking about rad houses where they take all the pearl and they shred it into, um, and they make, um, they manufacture tiles that are used in automotive um, parts stores or automotive repair stores. Um, we also save clothing from being shipped over to third world countries. Think about it. Um, a lot of vintage clothing. Um, is shipped over to third world countries. And this is the problem, guys. It's really good to send things to third world countries um, like Africa and stuff like that. They are begging the U.S. to put a stop on the level of exports that they're receiving because they're saying even in their countries, they can't consume all the apparel. So what they're ending up having to do is, is to take these, um, these shipping containers full of apparel and just take it out to what we would call dumps and they're just dumping it by the piles and it's creating environmental problems in these third world countries. And so our company, we do our small part. We are in the circle fashion industry. Um, our team goes out, we work with our sources, we dig um, through um, this cold and we hand pick the items that we want to carry in our store. We bring them back to our store, um, um, bring them back to our location here. And then what we do is we grade them, um, we repair it in the end, we clean all of our items with Priscilla and OxyClean, uh, Oxy and then we list it, uh, we photograph and list it on our website, and then we sell to our customers all over the globe. That's right, guys. We got um, customers all over the globe. We've been in operation for over three years now. Uh, we have everything from collectors to just individuals that want to save money on buying name brand items. Um, a lot of people like um, vintage items. They love the quality. They love the variety. Um, the creativity that was put back into that was put into clothing back in the day versus to what you see now. And if people are buying more newer pieces such as Y2K or even more recent pieces from us, the reason why they're buying from us is, is, is twofold. One, they want to save money on buying the name brand um, 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 apparel. They don't want to have to go to the stores and spend full retail on it. They want to be able to get it at a fraction of the cost and they're willing to buy it used. And the other reason is, is that we got individuals that just really buy into our mission statement. They want to do their part at trying to save the environment. So instead of going out there and buying a new Nike hoodie in the store, they'd rather come buy it from us. Either way, we love it. We appreciate all our customers. If you haven't had a chance, make sure you run over to the website at www.tradehippo.co. You'll be able to check out um, our inventory at any given time. We have over 1,200 unique different items over there. Now, one thing, guys, remember, when you're shopping with Trade Hippo, you have to understand we don't go in and bulk buy. We don't buy multiples of an item. Sometimes we're fortunate enough to come across multiples of an item, but most of the time it's only that item. So if you see something over there that you like, I'm going to tell you, go ahead and purchase it because most likely if it's a hot item, if it's a good item, when you come back, it won't be there. Um, a lot of our best stuff, man, it, it doesn't last long at our store. We put it up, we get, um, we get a customer. I mean, so if you see something you like, I'm going to challenge you, go ahead and buy it. Um, if you don't see anything you like, go ahead and follow our store. Um, and what will happen is, is that whenever um, we receive, receive new inventory, you receive a notification for that. And you're going to notice when you go over there, the store is actually hosted on the eBay platform. Our e-commerce store sits on top of the eBay platform. We are top rated sellers over there with eBay. We have over 400 plus reviews, um, on positive reviews. Um, from our customers no negative reviews only one neutral review so we must be doing something right so make sure you go over and check that out okay so um if you're a new listener or viewer of the podcast i just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and investing it with us 
Um, this podcast, I created to be able to share ideas and concepts around launching businesses from the comfort of your home, from, from, from your cell phone, virtual. Um, if you're looking for something that's more brick and mortar type of business model um, information, you won't find it here. You know, I try to deal in what we call alternative information. I want to be the guy that goes out there and kind of just really expose you to the ideals and concepts that you might know about or that you might not know about it. You know, I'm an avid um, supporter of home-based businesses. I believe that in the past, you know, before we went into the industrial age, everybody ran a business from home. And people had cottage, um, what they call it, it's the cottage industry. They had businesses from their home. You had the blacksmith, you had the mechanic. Um, you, you might have had like um, somebody that helped with garden, somebody that sewn. Um, in, in America, man, a lot of people used to own businesses before the Industrial Revolution. And I believe we're seeing a trend back in that direction. Ever since, you know, we had the pandemic with COVID, when everybody came home for a while, a lot of people started rethinking how they did things and stuff like that. And one of the biggest um, shifts that we've seen take place in the marketplace outside of, of the disruptions, the way business is conducted, the way we buy and sell, the way we interact today, um, is that one out of every two um, Americans, they did a study, has some type of side hustle that they're doing. All right, some type of side hustle that they're involved in. And I'm going to read a statistic to you guys right quick. I had just put a, um, I had just put a, a Facebook post up the other day. And I'm going to read a statistic to you guys about, um, about home-based businesses. Give me one second. Um, it's, it's, it's really eye-opening when you think about it. Okay, it says there is a total of 32.5 million small businesses in the United States. All right, and the thing is, is that out of those businesses, um, um, check out this statistic, guys. Check out this statistic. Let me get to it. Um, according to that research, over 19 million of those businesses are home-based businesses. So this was done in 2022. It said there's over 32.5 million small businesses in the USA. Hey, you know, if you know anything about um, business and the business climate, I heard most of the businesses I heard are small businesses, all right, in the United States, period. And there's over 32.5 million small businesses. Now, out of those 32.5 million small businesses, over 19 million of them are home-based businesses, guys. I think, I think one of the most powerful strategies um, that you could actually engage with um, in, 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 in your life if you're looking to uh, if you're looking to level up is to become an entrepreneur. Um, and the cool thing about it is is that in today's world you don't have to risk your life savings. You don't have to risk anything to be honest with you, because anyone could decide to launch a business from the comfort of their home today. Today. Uh, with minimum investment. I mean, I'm talking about almost nothing. Um, you have sites out there such as Google Sites where you can go out there and you can build a website for free. They even give you uh, a free web builder that helps you build it. Um, if you're into e-commerce, you can go out there and sign up for free platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, um, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and you can start selling physical products. Um, if you're looking to sell digital products, um, they have um, platforms out there such as Etsy, where you can sell digital products, um, e-junkie. Um, um, you can get out there and you can you can sell digital products out there. If you if you want to sell a service online, you can easily set up an Instagram account, a Facebook account. Um, you can use something like Linktree, which is a free piece of software that allows you to be able to create links for your bio, and you can have um, um, set up with a service such as Cash App, PayPal, um, Venmo, Zelle. And you can start selling services um, right from the comfort of your home. Um, my whole e-commerce business, I run from my phone. Now, I sit down at my computer because I choose to because I'm down here in the warehouse. But my whole business, I run from my cell phone, which is crazy to think that I'm selling globally and I'm doing it on a free platform. Um, with eBay, I don't have to pay any marketing as far as I don't have to do any advertising or marketing. They do all that. They have the customers and stuff. They're my joint venture partner. I go out and I find the product and I sell the product. Um, they attract the customer, process the payment, and we break bread. I, I, I pay them a fee for doing that, and I don't have to pay them unless an item sells, and it's a wonderful thing. Um, what I like about a home-based business is, is that 
Um, when you think about home-based businesses, we're, we're talking about location independent businesses. Um, right now, we live about 45 minutes, well, I'll say about 35 minutes outside of St. Louis, Missouri, downtown St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm doing business all over the world. And the cool thing about a, a internet-based business, a home-based business, a virtual business, is that it's location independent. So if we decide that we want to move across the country, say we want to relocate to Florida, we can plan our move, pack up, and we can move. And guess what, guys? There's no disruption in my business. Since my business is a portable business, it's location independent. As soon as we touch down in Florida, I can set up operations again because I'm not tied to a physical location, a geographical area. I'm not tied to local customers. I sell all over the world. So with the type of business that I do, since I have an internet-based business and I run it from the comfort of my home, I could do this anywhere. At any given time, I can pack up and take my business with me. That's what I love about home-based businesses. That's what I love about internet-based businesses. So in this podcast, that's what we do. We're going to be talking about multiple streams of income. I'm going to be giving you guys ideals and concepts that I'm actually discovering, running across, using in my business or in my research. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, these resources. And hopefully, you'll be able to take something from each episode of this podcast that, that you can either get educated on or that you could turn around and actually use this actual um, information in your business, in your life at that particular moment. So today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about a business idea, right? And one of the things that we're going to be doing here on this podcast, I'm going to be sharing a lot of ideas with you guys because, guys, I can't do everything that I think about. You know, I've been, I've been thinking about business ideas all my life, and I have so many that I know about that I want to share with you guys and so many that I forgot about. So as I remember, as I run across new ones, I'll be sharing with you guys on this podcast. So with this one right here, we're going to be talking about um, setting up a service-based agency to be able to service um, clients out here um, that are that are looking to um, to to put out and dominate on the content scene. So we're talking about TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. All right, you have a lot of content creators out here. Um, and they are, man, when I say content is hot right now, it's, it's, it's the business of the future. I'm actually involved in the content business with this podcast. And, um, and, and, and these content creators out here, they, they have to, they have to, it's a lot of things that they got to do in order to do what they're doing. Um, they have to create the content. They have to think it through first. They have to create the content. Then they have to edit the content, publish and deploy it on different platforms. And a lot of these content creators um, would pay you as an agency owner money to help them with certain aspects of that particular process. And I'm going to kind of talk about a couple of those um, different um, um, services that I think that you can easily sell to content creators. All right. So one of the, one, one of the, um, one of the businesses I'm watching in 2023 is is an agency all right so so this business that i'm talking to you guys about is one that i'm launching it's one that i've done in the past to be honest with you um this is what i used to do you know i used to own a a small agency where i did graphic design web design um i i um i went out and i put together commercials and things like that for for different clients and and so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you guys today is how to set up a micro agency from the comfort of your home and be able to provide services to content creators in a sense. Now, in this, in this particular example, we're talking about servicing content creators, not just regular small businesses and stuff like that, but content creators. Um, these are different individuals that are out here creating content. So we're talking about people that, are, um, that, that have podcasts, um, um, individuals that are running YouTube channels. We're talking about influencers on Instagram, on TikTok, Facebook, these in, in individuals out here that are that are what we call content creators. This is their business, creating content, kind of like I'm doing with this podcast. Now, there are several services that you can sell to these individuals that I call low-hanging fruit, right? The, these are um, services that should be easy to sell, All right? And let's, let's go over a couple of these. One is, is what we call a short-form 
agency and you're going to offer a short form service. Most of your content creators out here, let's say, for instance, like with this podcast, I create this podcast. It might be 15 to 25 minutes long. That's good for certain platforms. I can put that on Facebook. I can put that on YouTube, right? But now if I, if I want to put that on Instagram, if I want to put that on TikTok, things like that, I'm going to need to cut that or, um, or trim that content up to fit that specific um, platform, right? That's where you would come in as an agency owner. You would take um, your client's videos and you would splice them up to small clips for like YouTube shorts, for like TikTok, like Instagram stories, and then you would actually edit and slice those up, um, put any type of um, 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 text or message they want on there, and then either provide that back to the client or deploy it to the platforms um, in um, on behalf of the client, right? So think about that. So you got a content creator out here, they're making this long form content, and they need shorts, and the YouTube shorts done. They would pay you a certain fee for every short that you do. They need TikTok videos, the same thing, a certain fee for every TikTok video, a certain fee for every Instagram story, a certain fee for every uh, Facebook um, story, all right? So really think about that. So you as an agency owner, the service you will provide is just taking their, their, their longer content and pulling out certain parts of it, splicing it up, re-editing it for these different platforms. Now, think about this. You can go out there and you can have, say, 10 clients. And let's say they pay you, say, 20, 20 to $25 for every video that you create, every short that you create, or whatever number you come up with. Let's just say $25 to be, to be easy with the math. And let's say this particular person is going to put out, say, um, say 10 pieces of content a month. All right, so that's $250 you're making off that client. And let's say it takes you about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do what you do once you get going with this. So you're making almost 20 something dollars an hour to be able to provide this service um, to your clients. Now think about this guys, that short that you make um, for YouTube might be different from the one on TikTok, all right? Or it might be different from the one on Instagram, or it might be the same. But if they, if, if they needed you to edit that short even smaller, you're making $25 a walk off of every one. Now, the cool thing is, is that it's easy to go out here and identify your customer base. You look for podcast producers. You go on things such as Anchor FM, on Google Podcasts, on Stitcher, um, um, on Audible, you look for podcasts. You go to YouTube, look for people's YouTube channels. You go to Instagram, you look for Instagram um, influencers um, by category. Um, so if you're looking to go out to the garden, that you you put in gardening, you will start looking at the different pages that have um, that have huge followings that people are putting out a lot of content. These are the people that you approach. Um, same thing with TikTok and things like that. All right. So what what we're talking about here is creating a micro agency um, to create um, short form content for content creators. All right. So that's the ideal, guys. And, um, and, and, and this, this is not a hard thing to do, guys. I'm going to show you a way to scale this up and want to scale this up. You can go to a site such as Fiverr. All right, you can go in there and identify service providers that would do this service. So now this is how you step up from, from, um, from contractor to agency. So what you'll do is you'll go on Fiverr. All right, you set an account up. You'll reach out and talk to some of these different um, service providers on Fiverr that can do this service for cheaper than what you're selling it to your clients for. Then you go find the clients. All right, you create the brand and the agency. You can do this with a one-page website, to be honest with you. All right, you create the brand and the agency. You go find the clients. You manage the service providers. You get the work. You let your service providers do it. You pay them a cut, and then you send the work to the client. You are the agency owner. All right, very, very, very powerful business model. This is one, guys, that I, when I look at what's going on, I say the only thing this business model is going to do is grow. There's going to be a huge demand for individuals that could go in and do this for clients, all right? A huge demand. Um, all right, Orville J. Parker, a.k.a. Coach, um, you've been listening to Trade Talk Podcast. Today, we shared some ideas and concepts around a business model that you can launch and run from the comfort of your home, um, and it's around creating a micro-agency. 
where you go in and create short form content for content creators. Um, if you haven't had a chance again to check out our, um, our sponsor, make sure you go to www.tradehippo.co. Go over and check out um, the clothing and the apparel that we have over there. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to find something you like. We sell everything from shirts to jerseys to hats to pants to shorts um, to, um, to athleisure wear. Well, we have coats, man. We have shoes. We have a lot over there. All right. I'll catch you guys on the next video. God bless.